think maybe the greatest evidence of God with us, God here on this earth now, is human connection. Real, deep, authentic human connection. Friendship and community. When two or more souls gather together and deeply connect, when people start taking off their masks and say, here I am, this is me all of me just as I am. And then others start saying, yeah, me too, me too. When we come together and truly connect, I don't know that there is anything more powerful than that. I think God never gets tired of trying to convince humanity that they're loved and part of the family. But I get the sense that Jesus, perhaps, you know, being human and all, did at times get a bit wearisome of such an endeavor. He had to resort to some pretty outlandish stories just to drive the point home. Uh, like that one guy who threw a party and all of his original guests uh, didn't show up. And the host was determined to fill this house, to fill this party. And so he sent out people at the last minute to go grab anyone and everyone that they could find. And, but still there was room. And so bent on throwing a party the likes of which would be trending on Twitter instantly, uh, the host sent out more people to get more guests just to fill the house. You know, that alone seems to be a story to me that would remind us of, of how much God wants us at the party. But, but Jesus seems to go further with it. And he, he talks about the types of people that are brought to this party, right? The, the people that society ignores, the outcasts, the hated, the ones that, quite frankly, would never be at a party like this. These are the types of people, you know, they would only be walking a red carpet if that was the color of the 70s shag rug at the local soup kitchen. I still believe in the church, this institution that's served as a sort of gathering place for people with a shared need for healing for thousands of years. But the church has also served as a reason for that need for healing sometimes. You know, like a lot of us need healing from our experience with church. We're all wandering around, aching, seeking, and needing. And we end up at church because there's something inside of us that believes we'll find something there. But then sometimes we go and we dive in only to experience church as the salt in our wounds rather than the south. But I still believe in church because I still believe in humanity. When people gather together and come alive, create, and heal, love, comfort, believe, and innovate, advocate for each other, dream, make art, there's no more powerful force on earth. That's all I want for her, the church. For people to come together and come alive. I, uh, I get excited about being uh, a part of a group of people who collectively are, are passionate about the, the relentless pursuit of love, uh, who are passionate about teaching people and showing people how to, how to love, to, to love themselves uh, in a healthy way, right? And, and to love their neighbors, to love their enemy, to love God and to, to follow in the ways of Jesus. I get the sense that the call of Jesus is this, this, this radical declaration from, from the divine that, that everybody is part of the party, everybody is invited. It seems like the early church was, was constantly, constantly confronted with this uh, invitation from God to expand the guest list. And I don't know, that's, that's a church I want to go to. That's a, that's a church I want to raise my kids at. That's, that's a church I want to be a pastor at. And if it, if it means creating one, well, then do it. And so here we are, launching Sojourn Grace Collective, inviting people to live fully alive as we orient ourselves around the way of Christ, extending God's love to everyone, flowing from a healthy love of ourselves. 